Hi there, uh, here is a little short little demonstration on how we are going to work Soundtrap. So the free program that I've asked everybody to download here. So it should look like this. And um, so as I said, it's free, it works on all devices and uh, it gets us great music. It doesn't matter if you don't play an instrument, it doesn't matter if you don't sing. Um, so long as if you, if you like music, you like different sounds um, and you're curious to make, uh, put together different beats and see if we can come up with a bit of a tune. Okay, so as you see, my screen is slightly sideways. It'll start to, uh, there you go, like this. So um, you'll get this when you start up. You can have a, a listen to some of these different things that it can do, um, um, and there's different features. So let me just open something uh, that we are going to work towards in this lesson. So if I open up, um, I think it's this one here, you'll see along the left-hand side, I have uh, four, or as we call them, tracks. So there are four different sounds here. So you can see it says Corazon. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sure it's Spanish. We've got some beats, a drum beat, Lucid 808, which is a bass. Then you'll see piano chords and a claves there, which is another little percussion sound. So just to give you a little listen to this. So everything here is, we, you can see all these color dots are in different spots here. So they represent each of the instruments. So it starts here with a bass. <coughs> as we go along okay so let's start this what we're going to do is we're going to explore um the beats and the bass so this is the first part here i'm going to put together uh, little, one little idea there's thousands of things you can do with this and i'm sure you'll be very creative with this so i'm just going to dem just do a little demo on how to get where we've got to in that project okay so i'm going to open up a new page blank okay so you can see that's what you're faced with there um what i'm going to use is the sense that's already there in soundtrap so if you look at the top right hand you'll see uh, a little purple icon there with some music notes so we can do two things here we can use the original sounds or you can actually make them own or make your own one sorry um if you know how to play an instrument and i'll show you that next week okay so here's all our sounds along the side here so we get different types of pianos bass drums and so on okay so what we'll start off with there is, is the drum beat. Okay, so I'm gonna click on drums and the one that I used, you can scroll down and here's all your features here. And the one that I used, I think was Corazon is this one here, beat one. So let's just use this for this example. Okay, I'll keep it the same. And then of course you can go off and use whatever ones you want. So I'll double tap on that and there you have it. It's up there now in the track, okay? Great, okay. So the next one, is uh, the base so it's like putting the foundations into a house you know your drum and bass are really the foundations to everything okay so let's put it i'm going to go to base and the feature uh, there's a whole like um you know the similar sounds that they all kind of put together like um one called anthem where you'd have an anthem bass anthem anthem drum and um, piano riff so i'm going to use for this one it's uh, uh it's called lucid uh, come back here and type it in the top. So just to use the one that I used, it's Lucid 808. And it's number three. So I think it was this one here. Okay. Quite a, a bouncy sort of a bass there. So let's have a listen to that. Just for this project, what I'm going to do is to make sure that these all our tracks are eight bars long. Now a bar here, it's it's you can see the numbers across the top there where that purple line is. Okay, so eight bars long. That means you're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eight times. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut these down so that I only have eight bars. So here I actually have ten, so I need to get rid of two. So uh, what I'm going to do is you can see this. This, uh, this here is your device here that will allow you to kind of cut stuff out. You can cut stuff music out at the middle of a, of a section or whatever. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go up to uh, the end of the eighth bar, which is there. Okay, so it's at the number nine. 
I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to split region. Okay, I'm going to hit this again and then I'm going to cut. <clears throat> there you go. And the same one on this one, tap this one, split region and cut. Okay, and now we have our perfect eight bars. So this is just a basic uh, little exploration of the sounds here, the stuff that we can do to manipulate the, the equalizer and all that kind of thing that's in, that we can affect the sound of each of the instruments. But we just get the tracks in. So there you have your bass and you have your drums. So see if you what you can do now with a bass and a drum and maybe keep it to eight bars as long if you want to follow this, uh, 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 follow this along, okay? Okay. <laughs>